to today's vlog. I literally just hopped out of bed right now. It's raining outside, so it's a little gloomy, which I kind of love it because it's a nice switch up. But um, yeah, just woke up because I am doing something for the first time today. Hold on, let me <laughs> open the blinds in here. So today I'm going to my very first in in person by an instructor and everything yoga class i've done yoga at home before but i've never gone to a fitness class i don't think aside from when i was training like i had a personal trainer but that was only like three girls at a time or so obviously because it's more like it's supposed to be more catered for like individual work but i was like last night randomly i was like i want to just go and do something new and I want to try something that is de-stressing I guess so I was like yoga is the perfect thing and luckily there's a place I can go to and that's what I am doing today I look so sleepy because I haven't been getting much sleep so I'm gonna brush my teeth right now I have no idea what to even uh, take or wear i know on there it said that they do yoga mat rentals there so that's good because i don't have to oops worry about that and then i have to take a water bottle and like a, a face towel or like a body towel a small one i'm so tired Ugh. So I have I don't think I've gone to a fitness class ever because of the fact that I get very nervous when it comes to meeting new people. I guess you can I'm, I guess you can say I'm an introvert unintentionally. I don't actually even want to be, but it just so happens to be that way. Like I like talking to new people and I like I would like to meet new people. I'm just not the most talkative or i'm not like great at starting conversation um so it's always been kind of hard for me but i always have been like oh it'd be cool to meet new people and to do things with new people and you know start new friendships and whatnot but <laughs> i'm just not the best at the conversation starting part so that's why because i get really nervous and i end up just keeping to myself like I'm really shy so I'm getting out of my shell today <laughs> here's my first time doing yoga outfit kept it loose kept it comfortable this top I think I got at Kohl's for like super cheap I was looking for uh, looser fitting workout tops and I found this one and then of course I'm wearing a sports bra under my leggings are these ribbed really cute leggings from Amazon they're nice for fall because they're like a burnt orange and then my sneakers are Adidas I forget the name but I'll link them below if I can find them and then I'm gonna throw on a jacket because like I said it is raining so I want to make sure to keep warm I'm also gonna spray a little parfum to smell good i'm gonna use this one i got this tiny version of the by the fireplace by replica and it is so good i smelled this in the bottle a while ago and i didn't love it but then i put it on myself and it smells insane this is a really nice fall scent right here and i know i'm gonna have it <clears throat> sorry my voice is giving out because i just woke up but i know i'm gonna be having this on rotation for the fall because it smells literally like you're by the fireplace but in a really pretty perfume way i don't know it just is really good i love it and you only need like two sprays literally oh uh, that felt so good 
it was I couldn't vlog in there there's no way because um, you're supposed to be like relaxed and you know in the zone and it was my first time meeting them so I didn't want to be like pulling out my phone and stuff so that's the only thing about you know being out in public and stuff you can't really record a lot but it was really relaxing bones were cracking like and the class was full like there were nowhere no no one else probably could have fit in that space because it was pretty full but it was a small class it was probably about i want to say like eight people in there and then she was live streaming it too so we were all kind of separated so that she would be able to come out on the camera my hair looks insane because it's almost like you're getting out of a massage what your hair ends up looking but that was really needed tell me why I got emotional just the way that she was talking she's like release all the stress and love your body and give yourself compassion and anything that's on your mind throughout this week let it go and it was just very needed that's for sure i do need a few things for the house but i don't really want to do a huge grocery shop because it's about to be the weekend so it's like no point but hmm. i don't know i'll see what i decide i'm gonna make a uh, yeah this still should work i'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich for myself my breakfast usually is very basic. Um, I'll usually do bacon and eggs or I'll do a breakfast sandwich or I'll get a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks or I'll do some fruit or some oatmeal, basic stuff. Um, I want something kind of hearty this morning. And so I'm gonna do just bacon, eggs, cheese. I think my cheese is still good too one thing that grocery stores not grocery stores but companies need to start doing is making products for people who live at home by themselves or if it's just like two people because an entire loaf of bread we do not go through an entire loaf of bread and i feel like it's such a waste i feel like they should make half loaves of bread and like just other things too well i think in this house it's mostly bread especially because i like to get different cuts of bread so like i have the white bread and then i have the grain one with the grains so it's like if we get two breads it doesn't really we don't really finish it so yeah i would say that's the probably the only thing is the bread Oh, let me show you. I also got these cute pumps for my syrups. I got the peach one. So I showed this on my Instagram story. There goes my fridge. Loudly refrigerating. But I showed on my Instagram story that I got this Tarani peach syrup because Starbucks doesn't have peach syrup. And I like to get the peach green tea lemonade. So now I just ask for a green tea lemonade unsweetened and i add the peach here i did hear that some starbucks got the peach back and that they're bringing it back so that's good but for now i can just finish what i have at home and i saw an espresso recipe with peach syrup too so i can always use it for that and i also bought some labels for these i don't know when they're gonna come in but i bought labels for vanilla for peach and this one i'm gonna put away but now I can have them sitting right here for when I or guests want to add some syrups to their uh, coffee if they want to make coffee with an espresso. I do want to create a cute coffee station, but I need to get a few more things. That way I can make it cute. I have this right here because I'm going to give these to my cousin because I got them, but they're too small. <laughs> Apparently you need to go up in size for those. And um, so I'm going to give them to her and then a bunch of drinks because this weekend we are celebrating my cousin's boyfriend's 
birthday and I told her I would get some of the liquor. So I have it sitting here so that I don't forget the shoes and forget the liquor. Like I told you guys, I'm thinking of going to the grocery store. I don't know just yet because I need fruit, milk. I'm gonna need a new loaf of bread soon because this one's gonna be not good anymore for a while. Um, and just a few other things too. And in here, I was telling you guys in my apartment tour that I hadn't really organized. I still haven't done this part, but I did semi-organize the chip area. Right now it looks crazy, but I did get these like gold chip clips and I got a basket so that our chips are easier to grab, even though I added this bag up here, but that semi made it look a bit more organized up there and then we have the cereal and then here being that our pantry is kind of like the old apartment it's small but it's it is long i still haven't really been able to figure out how to best organize it so right now i just have it to where the stuff i don't really reach for is all the way in the back and then the stuff that i do reach for i keep it in the Front. so yeah just a little uh, organization update for my breakfast sandwiches all i do is i add some bacon i'll use white bread sometimes sometimes i will use where are my tongs going oh, i haven't emptied out the dishwasher oh i never started it well um yeah sometimes i will do white and then the other I'll do this one from Dave's bread, Dave's killer bread. And so, and all I do is cook the bacon, obviously, cook some egg. I do about two eggs, and then I add some Colby Jack cheese to that, and that's it. Salt, pepper, you can add avocado, you can add whatever you want to it, but I'd like to keep it simple and quick. I have been trying out this oat milk creamer. All the hype on oat milk in general, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it again. I have tried it once before and I wasn't a fan. I was just so used to the almond milk, but I tried this one from Planet Oat in French Vanilla and it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna make myself my morning coffee. I don't have milk, so I'm like, I'm gonna make it with mostly creamer today. It's gonna be nice and sweet. And I'm like, I think I'm gonna do a hot coffee because it is a little bit gloomy outside. Just to warm my body up a little bit. Four pumps, I'll do four because I'm gonna use creamer and I completely forgot that I was gonna use creamer else I wouldn't have added that to be honest. And then I'm gonna do caramel cookie, which is this one here. This one is so good, it's probably my favorite one. I have to order a few more too and I think I wanna add a little bit of some cinnamon just to switch it up a little bit. And I am going to uh, uh, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna froth my creamer first. And a lot of people are telling me in one of my recent videos to get a frother or in my, on my Instagram story, but I already have one. I just don't have the Nespresso one or the one that comes with the Nespresso. So I just use my Amazon one. Yeah, I know. I go to the 
What time? Why you still by yourself? <laughs> what time is she going home? I also went last night to eat at... What is it called? But I had some lo mein, some orange chicken, and some crunchy honey chicken. And I had a lot left over because they had made a mistake on my order and accidentally brought out... No, they made a mistake and it was taking longer than they expected. I didn't, I didn't even say anything and the a guy came out and he was like, Hey, um, it's taking a little bit longer, but here is some complimentary orange chicken. And so I was like, oh, cool. And I tried the orange chicken. It was really good. And then I tried the crunchy honey chicken and that was also really good. I'm going to look at the name of the place. I'm, I'm totally looking out of the name. P.F. Chang's. I've been there before. Don't go really often, but I went last night and it was pretty good. I had a drink too. It's like a dragon. It's called a dragon something. It's kind of strong, but it was pretty good. They bring it out and it has that smoke in there and they turn it so the smoke is coming out, you know? But I do want to get myself is a panini maker that way i can put this in the panini because when i lived at my parents house that's how my dad would make the breakfast sandwiches he would put them in the panini press and then like press it down and then it would have the lines and it would be warm and everything all the ingredients meshed together so i'm thinking of getting that or i can probably get a panini press to put on here but i like it to be like warm on both sides so i don't know this, this does a trick for now though. shower and got dressed put on some deodorant semi brushed my hair i didn't even add any curls to it this is just what's left from yesterday because i curled my hair yesterday so i just put some hairspray swooped it to the side and uh that's my hair for today it's raining or it was raining now it's not it's starting to get a little sunny but i'm wearing a sweater with a hood just in case i need to pop it on because i'm gonna go to the shops so, what are they called? They're out. Oh, I got the wrong. First of all, I got the new iPhone. And I really like it. Hold on, what is it called? Victoria Gardens. I'm going to go there to try to look for something to wear tomorrow. The theme for the party, it's a 30th birthday party. And the theme is black and white. So I'm gonna try to look for something to wear for that. So yeah, I got the new iPhone 13. Someone asked me <clears throat> on my Instagram via DMs if I could do a what's in my iPhone. Are you guys interested in that? Like, should I include it in some kind of vlog? I know I wanna do maybe that. And then maybe, I don't know, I feel like I don't really have a lot on my phone like that. Well, I do, but it's mainly for work. So let me know what you guys think about that. And then a perfume collection I want to do too. And that's another video I've been getting a lot of requests for. And I have quite a few perfumes. My perfume collection is not huge or anything, but I think that the ones that I have are really good starters, especially being that I, I feel like I'm, building my perfume collection i have these back here and then i have some more in the bathroom my more springtime and summer scents are in the bathroom but um yeah speaking of perfume i'm gonna use the replica one again it's just too good too too good i also threw in a load of laundry which you can probably hear of 
for the new iPhone, it's a pretty big difference for me because I'm going from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 13. I never upgraded to the 12 because I, I don't know, I heard that a lot of people didn't really like the 12 and the quality or something. I don't know. I was like, I'm just going to stick to my 11 because I really liked the way that it took photos. And even now when I'm on my 13 and I go like on my Instagram, the photos look great and a lot of them I took with my 11. So that ended up working out. And um, now I have the three cameras too. So this is the 11 and this is the 13. The 13 is a tiny bit smaller, but it feels a lot more heavy duty in the sense of the, it's a bit heavier. It feels like it has a better grip. I like the more squared off shape compared to this one. It's a little bit more squared and chic and elevated. I love it. And then of course the three cameras, the quality is really good. And I'm not mad at the upgrade that I did. And this one I'm like, I'm probably gonna sell it. I already restarted it and everything. I'm thinking of selling it or something, but got the new iPhone. And so far, so good. The only thing is that it is still a little bit glitchy, I think because it is a new phone and they did the new software update for Apple and they're probably still trying to figure it out. I'm sure there's gonna be another software update soon because when I'm watching people's Instagram story, it's like slightly skippy and glitchy or even Instagram reels. And so yeah, Instagram's going through some things right now. So I'm not gonna do anything on my face except for I put a little brow gel and then I'm gonna add this uh, Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood just to add some glossiness. And my skin ended up getting better. If you watched my last vlog, you saw that I had some scabbing going on right here from the facial that I had gotten. It completely went away. This right here is a breakout, but this top part, it's completely gone. I wanna say after two days, it started to flake off. So now my skin looks like it did before and now I'm just gonna have to work on my acne per usual. But I finally did take a step and reach out to a dermatologist with my insurance so i am looking forward to that i have an online i keep grabbing the wrong phone i have an online appointment with them like a virtual one next week and i'm hoping that they can prescribe something for my marks and for minimizing my hormonal acne because it's not acne that i'm just like oh i'm using the wrong skincare it's not that it's just hormones like no matter what skincare i use it feels like it's always going to come back as soon as i finish with my cycle and so i want to see if there's something that they can recommend for that because I, i'm on birth control i've been on birth control for a few years and um i think that's what it's affecting it i can't even remember what my skin was like before i was on birth control because it's been a few years but I don't remember getting hormonal acne under here. So like acne that hurts when you pick at it or when you try to extract it. So I think it has, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that. And because I've had it for so long, I don't even know what effects it has and hasn't taken on my body because my body has changed and your body changes throughout the years anyway. So it's like, I don't even know if it's just my body doing its thing or if it's the birth control. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I all I know is I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it. I, I want to have really nice skin and my skin isn't bad. It's just not the best. It's not where it could be. I have a glow to my skin, which is really nice. And my skin would look really healthy if I just got rid of the marks that I have. So I'm excited to finally uh, be going to a dermatologist. I've been trying to do more things to take care of my 
health, my well, like my well-being in different aspects. Like this morning, I went to yoga for the first time, and then I reached out to a dermatologist, and I started going to a chiropractor. I went earlier this week, and then I'm gonna start going every single week. And so I'm just trying to do little things to uh, be better physically and mentally. All right, let's head out to the shops before traffic hits. Before that though, my outfit, simple, comfy, casual. This cropped hoodie I got from Target. I also bought the leggings with it. I think it's from the White Fable line. They had this one, they had it in gray and they had some other ones and I got it in olive and I got it in a dark gray. This is the olive one right here. If I can find a link, I'll link it below for you guys. My airy leggings. Um, this is my uniform, okay? This is my usual uniform. A comfy shirt, leggings, sneakers. I'm wearing my Nike sneakers. And that's it. My bag, I'm wearing my pretty little thing bag that I showed you in another, that other vlog. This one right here. I'm gonna wear this just like this makes my outfit look like I really tried <laughs> just by throwing on a purse whenever I come I usually like to park by the Zara just so I'm close and because I know that that is one of the stores I want to go to and it's kind of like in the middle of everything too You guys saw i ended up finding a few things at zara this little boutique called lilyful i found a cute romper and i got some jewelry from express um and i think the outfit that i showed you guys that i found at zara is the one that i'm gonna wear tomorrow i don't know about the shirt because it's a little bit more office-y especially with those pants but i'm gonna see oh i'm putting gas right now and it just fell Yeah, I I ended up finding my outfit. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna wear that top, but I do have some white tops at home that I can always wear, so I can always do that. I don't know. I'll we'll see what I have in my closet if it ends up looking too. If that one ends up being too office like, I found some cute black classic pumps. But they did not have my size, so I ended up ordering them online. They're just like a basic black pair of heels. And I wanted to wear them because when I put them on in the store, they were so comfortable and chic. I already have some. Hold on, where am I going? I already have some at home from Steve Madden that I usually wear on my Instagram, like in my Instagram photos. But I do not like them as much because they're not comfortable and the Zara ones are super super comfortable so I'm probably gonna wear those a lot I'm sure and 
in general, I'm just glad that I found those. Now, I'm gonna head back home. I'm like, kinda hungry. I kinda want Panera again. <laughs> I just like Panera because it's light, but it's filling. I can get a salad and a sandwich, like a half and half situation, or I can get a full salad and I'm full for a while. And I think I wanna do that because there's still a lot of time left until dinner time. But at the same time, it's still a little bit late for lunch. So I wanna eat something that's light enough so that I could eat something again. Struggles, the struggles. <laughs> next morning and I have everything laid out here I have no idea what I want to wear so I have three outfits laid out and I just posted on my story right now to like what you guys think that I should wear because the different vibe I have so this long sleeve dress and this one is more of a sweater like material but it does hit down to I want to say above the knees so it's still dressy but it'll be a little bit more warm I and mean, I could uh, bunch it up right here too to make it a little bit shorter and then I would wear it with these sorry my phone's going off I would wear it with these snake print boots so that's option one that's the cozy fall vibe and then I also have up here more of a sophisticated chic outfit which is the one that I showed you that I just tried on at Zara. It is a button up top. With this one, I'm between wearing a button up or wearing a top like this. I have my laundry right here. So I'm like, I could wear that top or I could wear this top. And the pants are high waisted and they have the slit at the bottom. So that's an option. And I would wear with these heels from Steve Madden. They're just classic black pumps. These are the ones that I was saying, um, that I already had and then I have a girls night out vibe <laughs> and this is like a half black and white plaid dress that I got from Fashion Nova a while ago I haven't shopped at Fashion Nova or on Fashion Nova's website in a while but I've had this sitting in my closet because I was like one day I'm gonna need to wear this or I'm gonna want to wear this for something and I don't know what I still even have the tag on it just in case maybe they still have it on there let me see it's called the Janessa Off Plaid Shoulder Mini Dress. It's cute for like something like this that is themed, but I don't know if I wanna uh, wear it. And if I did wear that, I would wear it with these heels that I got from Target some time ago. I haven't even, again, took the tag off. I This is how I shop, and this is why sometimes it's hard for me to find links for you guys because I buy things and sometimes I don't wear them right away and I save them for an occasion. So for example, this dress might not even be in stock anymore, but if I wear it, I'm going to get a lot of questions on where it's from and I can't even link it because it may not be available. So just a heads up, if sometimes I don't share links, it's not because I'm trying to be stingy. It's because I probably don't have a link for it because it's not available. So yeah, these I got at Target a while ago. So those are the three outfits that I'm kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to wear, but I just ordered some food to get delivered. I'm gonna hop in the shower now and kind of slowly start getting ready. I'm running late, but I'm ready. I ended up going with the plaid outfit and then I'm taking this other outfit in case I get cold or uncomfortable. Um, and then my makeup is done too, but I gotta go because I'm uh, rushing. I'm just wearing flip flops right now because I need to rush out the door and drive. But this is the outfit that I ended up choosing. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Target haul. I just got home right now from doing the Target run. 
and I found a few things. I went for basic stuff like some bananas, bread, eggs, fruit and stuff. But I ended up finding, of course, other stuff there too. So I'll show you what I found. So I, I'll start with the fridge stuff first because I need to throw this in there. I um, got a fruit blend. This is one of the things I went for because uh, I want to add stuff into, is it too bright or does it look fine? I want to add stuff to my smoothies to switch it up because I've been doing like banana and strawberry for a while and it's kind of getting old. So I want to add this uh, triple berry blend. It has blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Zero added sugar and um, no artificial artificial preservatives. They have the, this one. This is the organic one. They have like another one that's not organic as well. But I wanted to get this again to switch up my smoothies. I was looking for something that had strawberries in it too. This one doesn't, but you can always buy strawberries on the side. I will probably end up buying strawberries on the side for that. And then um, just eggs. I needed some more eggs, so I picked up some of those. And I think that's all the refrigerated. Yeah, that's all the refrigerated stuff that I got. And as far as other food I got, just some avocados, some banana. Bread. So this is the bread I always get. You guys probably already know that by now because I've showed it in so many vlogs. And then I got two avocados because I like to make avocado toast in the morning. And I don't use a lot of avocado throughout the week, so two is fine. I also got some caramel sauce to add to my morning coffee, to my iced coffee. And then maybe I can drizzle some even in my hot coffee because I, I just bought those sweeteners. But I want to kind of, again, switch up my coffee in the morning and add different things, make my own lattes at home and stuff. So, got this, and I'm excited to try this tomorrow morning. Okay, and then aside from that, I got some bananas for the week as well, just to eat in the morning. And then to make my toast, I'll do toast, slices of banana, I'll drizzle it with agave or honey, and then put some cinnamon on top, and that's a quick breakfast. And then I got these Ollie Sleep Vitamins. I have not repurchased these since I ran out the last time. And these are just nice to regulate sleep. So this past week has been really tough for me to sleep. And I was like, I need to pick some of these up. And now that I finally went to Target, got some of these, I throw like two of these in. And usually, some days it doesn't really make a huge difference for me, but some days it does. And so I want to start drinking these or chewing these, eating these again to kind of regulate my sleep cycle a little bit and see how that works. And then this uh, tray, obviously this is not food stuff, but I got this tray for the guest bathroom because I, at Target they have this tray and then they have it in like a more yellowish tone and I have the more yellowish one. I didn't know they had it in gray. Let me show you. This is the one I have. You're probably not going to be able to see much of a color difference, but I'll put them side by side. So this is more of a eggshell white and this is more of a gray. And I didn't know that they had the two tones because the last time they only had this one. So I picked up the gray one instead. And this one I'm going to return it because I kept the sticker on it. I'm trying to be better with returning stuff that I don't feel really fits in the space rather than just holding on to it so this one i'm gonna switch out to put the soap the q-tips and then i think i have a candle in the bathroom too i also found some bowls i want to upgrade slowly the kitchen stuff because for the holidays i am going to be doing a bit more cooking hopefully and i want to finally film the mac and cheese updated mac and cheese video because i already have a video on that on here but i haven't done an updated one and the holidays are around the corner so i think i promised you guys that video like a long time ago so i want to get to that this year for sure 
So I got some clear bowls. I have some bowls that I bought from Amazon, but I wanted to update them to better ones. So I found this one. This is a nine inch bowl. And then this is a huge 11.5 inch bowl. Just clear, classic, glass, simple bowls that you can use for a lot of different things. Baking, cooking, just essentials. And then I found these baby bowls. <laughs> these are not glass. They're plastic, but they look like they are glass. And it comes in a set of three. I was looking around to see if I could find some that were glass, but they didn't really have any. So I thought these would be cute for having out for hosting also. If you want to add little stuff in there like nuts or, you know, condiments or whatever. These are just nice to have. I always like having tiny bowls like this on deck. I have some like this in white, but I never had clear ones and I thought having clear ones would be something different. I just like having different types of bowls and stuff around. So I got those and then these spoons are really cute too. I'm trying to upgrade, like I said, my kitchen all the way around. So these are the Bridgeport serving utensils. And these you can obviously use for like salad but I picked them up just to have, even for pasta salad or for, you know, scooping out mac and cheese with this one or even with this one. I just thought these were nice. And then I have this, this is a spoon rest. So this is what you would put on the stove to lay your spoon on it so you don't get food all over the stove top. But I didn't get it for that. I got it for having it on my bedside to put my jewelry on there because sometimes I'll take my jewelry off um, if I'm gonna wash my face or whatever and I don't want to lose it or um, Forget to put it on because I have a tendency of forgetting forgetting to put my jewelry back on And so if I have it right there where I can see it I think that'll probably be a little bit helpful It'll keep it all in one place and it looks a little bit neater having it on one specific thing Rather than the jewelry laying around all over the nightstand. So there's that and then this bowl I found too. I haven't seen this bowl in there. I'm usually at Target like every week and they didn't have this bowl at the Target by me and they had it now. I, I think I've seen it like here and there but it's a huge, heavy, beautiful bowl. You can see here the different texture and it's just really nice. It is very heavy and in here you can put basically whatever you want or you can just use it as a nice display item this looks like something that you would find from pottery barn or something and it feels like it too because of how heavy it is and these are just other things that i needed to get some pods for our laundry these are the ones i've been using the personal Pro Clean Discs. I'm always switching out the laundry stuff that I use, but this one I've been liking as of lately, so I purchased it. Then I got some more of the Febreze plugins in wood. These smell so bomb. So I have one of these in this room, I have one in the bathroom, and I have one in the other bathroom too. So I just picked up some more of those. And then I found these good wipes. I'm somebody who, like, I have to have wipes in my bathroom not face wipes but like wipes to wipe yo goodies okay and so i picked these up i have the good wipes like the feminine good wipes but um, i didn't know that they made them in like a regular big wipe form where you can have in the bathroom so i'm gonna put these in my wipe dispenser and these are rose water scented and they, um, let me tell you what it says on here. And I love their packaging too. It says that you can use it for any and all restroom activities. You can use it before or after a date. <laughs> after your co coffee kicks in, you gotta run to the bathroom. A post sweat sesh, itchy butts. <laughs> and their wipes are soaked in purified water and 100% biodegradable. They're toxin-free, dye-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and pH balance, which is huge. And their fragrances are naturally derived by simply soaked materials. Roses, for example. Roses, 
soaked in water. So all natural, no harsh stuff in them. So got some nice little wipes, just some wet ones because you can never have too many of these hand sanitizing wipes. And then I got some of these Clorox cleaning wipes in Simply Lemon to clean the surfaces. I'll probably end up mostly using this for the office desk because it's white. And so, um, or even the countertops in here because I'm constantly cleaning stuff up. I like this um, packaging. It's different than the normal Clorox wipes. It's nice and uh, updated. And then last thing I got, this is new to me. I've never tried this before, but... I've been looking for a good combination of body care because my skin around this time of the year gets super dry. So I'm using um, a Lubriderm body lotion and then I want to add this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist. It has oat oil and jojoba oil and it says that this is new. I don't know how new it is, but it says on here and it's 98% naturally derived ingredients and it's paraben free so basically with oil body oils typically you have to squeeze it out like the one that i have is a johnson and johnson's baby body oil now when you have to squeeze it out which is fine but this is a little bit more convenient because it's a spray which i don't think i've ever had a body oil that's in a spray i don't think and so that is really nice and convenient literally just spray all over my legs or all over my body and then just rub it in and the oil doesn't seem like it's going to be super thick so i'm looking forward to uh showering and trying this out right here and seeing how it works for me but um i and this one i literally just randomly found it i was looking for another body lotion and this one was the only one sitting there and i was like what is that i've never seen it and so i grabbed it it was the last one there and i'm gonna try it out tomorrow but that is a haul i'm gonna put all of this um stuff where it needs to go and for the rest of the day honestly i am not gonna do much like as far as vlogging i know right now i definitely have to to hop on my computer because I have a video concept due tomorrow that I have to turn in to a brand and so I'm probably gonna work on that for a little bit and then grab some lunch and then we'll see what else the day brings but um, hopefully you enjoyed spending a weekend with me weekend in my life this weekend was a little bit more fun um, let me get the camera this weekend was a little bit more uh, fun I did end up vlogging a whole lot at the party or anything but um yeah it was a lot more of an upbeat weekend which was really really nice but i hope you guys enjoyed like i said thank you guys for tuning in subscribe follow me on instagram all of that stuff anything i talked about in this vlog you already know i'm gonna link it down below i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video